In Boomi Essentials, you learned you must complete three steps to create a process. The first is to build the process. The second is to deploy the process, where you can select the atoms and environments the components will run on or be hosted on and find the required versions of these components. The last is manage, providing a consolidated view of all the integration activity within your account for all deployed processes. To demonstrate Atomsphere's administrative features, let's recall our scenario from earlier prospect tracking, which integrated salesforce.com with the org track database. So let's recall the business use case. The sales team wants to enter prospect information into Salesforce. Operation wants to query the Salesforce accounts of type prospect and send responses to database for lead management. Now at this point, support wants to monitor the new prospect tracking integration to ensure strategic IT success. Our administration goal is to move the prospect tracking process into a production state. We want to automate the process to query newly modified accounts. We want to deploy a production release to an environment and monitor live transactions. We want to troubleshoot and retry failed executions and documents. We want to develop and release process updates for advanced logging using the notify and exception shapes. And finally, enable administration features for advanced alerting. So we're going to use email alerts so there's no need to log into the atmosphere. The difference between processes which run in the Build tab, commonly referred to as Test Mode, and deployed processes are Test Mode supports unit testing of limited set of documents, so connectors only support retrieval of 100 max document count and 10 megabit total data size. Anything beyond this will produce errors. Deployed processes support strategic monitoring and unlimited data, execution and document history searching, so process execution results are going to be available for 30 days, and also external alerting, so email and RSS. Process deployment is a control panel for your process. You can select the environments to run or host a process. After you build or test a process, you must attach and deploy environment. So a single process can be deployed to many environments, and a single environment can host many deployed processes. Environments are managed in the Manage Atom Management. There's no limit to the number of environments you can set up. A specific atom can attach to only one environment at a time. The true power of environments occurs through the use of extensions, which we discuss in detail in Developer 2. For now, let's think of environment as a dedicated deployment setup used to support different phases of integration development lifecycle. So in our example, we have two environments, production and test. Test is used to test our processes to ensure they function correctly before promoting them into production. So processes assigned to this test environment leverage test connectors and sample files. Production handles tested ready for launch processes which leverage live communications and real-time data. Within each environment, we'll attach a specific atom to control the process runtime. In Boomi Essentials, you created a production environment with the atom cloud attached, as well as a test environment with the test atom cloud attached. If you don't have these environments configured correctly, we'll walk through the process in our activity. So together, let's complete exercise one and two. So again, anytime it says walkthrough, you'll complete the exercise as I am. So just to reiterate, in Boomi Essentials, you created two different environments, production and test. The Atom Cloud is attached to the production environment, and the test Atom Cloud is attached to the test environment. So in this exercise, you'll confirm the environments and atoms in your training account are configured correctly. The first thing we'll do is we'll confirm the account has a production environment with an attached Atom Cloud. So we'll go to Manage, Atom Management, and you can see that we have both production and test, and then we have attached to them both a test Atom Cloud and a production Atom Cloud. If necessary, and you had to create a new environment, you would do so by clicking on the plus new, adding an environment, naming it, so if this was a production environment, saving it. Real quick, we can go over how to unattach atoms from environments. So right now you see on this production environment, we have the Atom Cloud. So if we click on the X next to attachments, it'll detach the Atom Cloud from the production environment. So now what you're seeing is we have an unattached Atom in the Atom Cloud. If we wanted to attach the Atom Cloud to our production environment, we could click on our production, choose our atoms to attach our Atom Cloud, and then it would then attach that to the production cloud. So that's exercise one, that's checking the configuration of production and test environments. You can use the guide to help you if you need a step-by-step -step how to go through that. In exercise two, we're going to deploy the process. So the first thing we're going to do is let's talk about deploying the process. The deploy tab is a process control panel that allows you to manage process versions and to officially embed a process version in an atom or atoms to provide automation. To execute a process or to schedule a process to run at a particular interval, you first must deploy it. 
In this exercise, we're going to deploy the process to prospect tracking. So later we can track live activity on the process reporting tab. So if we click on the deploy tab up at the top, so here under our developer one, you can see we have our daily customer wins and our prospect track. If I highlight prospect tracking here, the next thing we could do is we could go to attachments and we could attach a production environment to it. So again, you're not clicking on the box next to it, but instead you're actually just clicking on the name prospect tracking, tabbing over to attachments, highlighting production, and tabbing production from an unattached environment to an attached environment. And then as we go back to deployments, after we attach it to the environment, we always want to deploy the latest revision of it. So we're going to click on deploy latest revision of the process, and then we're going to name this. So you always want deployment notes to know what versioning control or when this was. So for this one, we're going to name it initial deployment. We hit OK. So now you can see that it is our first version deployed by the date deployed and the deployment ID and the notes for it, it being initial deployment. Using deployment notes will make tracking deployment changes easier for you as you roll out additional versions. Deploying a process does not put the process into active production. So after you deploy the process, we're still going to need to execute it either manually through the manage process reporting or through schedule. So manage atom management. So upon deployment, the atom sphere is going to audit the account to make sure you have a valid number of connection licenses to deploy this process into production. So if we don't have enough necessary license account available, we're going to receive an error message here. So that was exercise one and exercise two. So it was checking the configuration of the production and test environments and deploying the process.